World Cup Classroom Activities With the Football World Cup around the corner or Soccer World Cup for our American audience, World Cup fever is growing in schools around the globe. In today's video, I will share 10 World Cup Classroom Activities. World Cup Worksheets I collected some of the best World Cup worksheets and resources that you can use with your students. Get them for free in the description below. It's also good to go over football and World Cup vocabulary. Arts and crafts. Here are some ideas for arts and crafts for younger learners. They can color balls or create a football pitch to play games on. Blow soccer is easy to set up and fun to do. Or create these paper balls and flick them into a goal to simulate a penalty shootout. You can create a challenge by writing words in the net. Students have to call a word, then hit that target to score a goal. Football supporters. The World Cup is a fabulous time to learn more about the countries participating in the World Cup. A fun idea is to put all the country's names into a hat. Each student picks one and then they are that team's supporter for the tournament. If their team falls out, they can pick a new one to support. Write your students' names in brackets next to their country. Students can then also do a presentation on their country. The flag, interesting places, food, language, famous people. They can also introduce their team's best player. That way, your students learn about different countries and gain knowledge in preparation for the World Cup. An idea for more advanced students is to research important events in World Cup history and then do a presentation or speech on one. After students get to know famous players, why not let them create their own fantasy teams? Create some set rules, like only one player per country in a team of 11. Send them home to ask their dads for advice if they are young. Even if parents don't know the sport, encourage them to do some research online to help their children. It's always nice to include parents when doing activities with our students. The actual performance of the fantasy players don't really matter. It will get your students involved in the World Cup. Learning should always come first. Fantasy League may be fun, but it shouldn't be too distracting to your learners. Role Models our learners need positive role models to follow. I like to encourage many of my motivationally challenged students by showing them famous sportsmen or women that do much more than just their sport. Perhaps show a clip of Messi speaking English or visiting sick children in a hospital. Help your students understand the work athletes do outside of the sport. Speaking of which, there is a great video ad where Ronaldo switches bodies with a young player. It shows how he trains and struggles to become a world-class player again. This has some great lessons on what it takes to be successful in life. Create a comprehension quiz or make it an essay topic for students to write about. We can learn so much about the hard work it takes to become successful at something not just talent. Mascots. There have been many World Cup mascots with different names and stories attached to their characters. The aim of a mascot is to promote the sport, but also to inspire us to be better. Students can learn more about the mascots and then create their own personal mascot. Let them pick an animal or object, give it a name, backstory, and draw a picture of it. What positive attribute does it stand for? And how does it inspire or help them to live a better life. After they share their mascots with the class, pin it to your wall. World Cup predictions. Once they reach the knockout stages, ask students to make predictions on who will win each week. Let them write down the games that will be played and guess who will win. Keep their prediction papers in class. During the following week, redistribute their paper so they don't receive their own. Check the results before returning it to the original owner, then do predictions for the next week. At the end of the World Cup, surprise the best guesser with a prize. World Cup role plays. Students could do different role plays around the World Cup, talking about teams, events, booking tickets. They can even do commentary for amazing goals. Show students a compilation of epic goals. Share some information on the team and players involved. Then students have to do commentary for the goals. This can be quite daunting, however, so encourage your students to write down some vocabulary to use while announcing. They practice with a partner first, but 
students shouldn't write a script. Otherwise, they will only revert to reading the whole script if made. Instead, encourage them to try and make it exciting and to enjoy the moment. Football question game. Draw a football pitch with two goal posts. Then place the students into two teams. Write the students' names on the field. Ask questions on whatever topic you are teaching that week. If a team answers three questions in a row, they score a goal. Remember to give fun commentary to get them invested in the game.